Athens is full of creepy and haunted places, including the ridges, cemeteries, and even dorms. In this episode of Haunted OU, we will explore some of the city's most haunted cemeteries. One of Athens' most famous legends is the Athens Cemetery Pentagram. The legend says there are five total cemeteries located around Athens, and if lines are drawn from one to the next, it forms a pentagon around Ohio University's most haunted dorm, Wilson Hall. When I first came to Athens County, I heard about the cemeteries. And there's a cemetery somewhere up on um, Mount Nebo. You've heard of Mount Nebo? That one, and then um, four, four other cemeteries, they apparently make a pentagram. I heard about that when I first came to Athens County. I know pentagrams a lot of times are associated with something um, occult. Sim Cemetery is one of the five within the pentagram. It is also one of the most infamous. Named after town official John Sims, the cemetery is known as one of the most haunted locations in the world. John Sims was a brutal man and would sentence people to death for even the most common offenses. Almost in all cases, his victims would be hung. A famous spot within the cemetery is the hanging tree where Sims' victims would tragically pass. According to Haunted Athens, Ohio, some ghost hunters claim rope marks are still visible on the tree and at night you can see ghost bodies hanging from the tree. Another cemetery in Athens is the West State Cemetery. The central attraction of the West State Cemetery is the Weeping Angel. The cemetery is mainly full of revolutionary and Civil War veterans who were unable to be identified. W. Peters, he's buried in the West Union Street Cemetery, but if you go up to the West State Street Cemetery, you will find his name on almost 20 gravestones because he apparently, in his research and, and his study of these cemeteries, located the graves of people who didn't have a stone. So he spent his own money and purchased a stone for them. So it has the name of the person that's buried there, whatever he might have known about that person. And then down in small print at the bottom, it says W. E. Peters. According to Panicked, visitors have claimed to see the angel's wings moving and even claim that she has been weeping. Visitors also say the feeling that they experience while within the cemetery is indescribable. Haynes Cemetery is one of the five cemeteries in the region that supposedly forms the pentagram when connected by a line on a map. It is said that the cemetery is haunted by a Civil War veteran who went crazy and murdered his entire family. The largest cemetery in Athens is the West Union Street Cemetery. The cemetery is owned by the city of Athens and has over 8,000 interments, including three former Ohio University presidents and four U.S. congressmen. Athens is also home to the Ridges, a mental medical asylum that opened in the 18 and 1900s. Just beyond the Ridges facility is its graveyard, and it is the only part of the property still owned by the Department of Mental Health. An odd feature of the cemetery is none of the graves contain names, but numbers instead. Visitors claim to have seen weird lights and heard screams at night. There is a circle of graves in the center of the cemetery which has local legend claiming witches performed rituals within it. To this day, it is still unknown if there were ever a center grave in the circle. Ohio University claims the circle was made by a group of pranksters years ago. If you are feeling adventurous this Halloween, maybe it's worth checking out one of these haunted locations. Some are completely accessible to the public, and maybe you'll see some paranormal activity.